We all know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, otherwise known as American units. So this water is evaporating at a rapid rate, turning to a gas we call steam. What about water at room temperature? If we leave this alone long enough, we will find that it all evaporates too. But why? Howdy everyone, I'm Biscuit, and although we may not consciously think it, we all know that water evaporates at room temperature. I mean, let's just admit it, we often leave little messes of water when we spill or at just best spread around with a towel. We don't really bother picking it all up like if we picked, you know, spilled oil or, you know, other things. This is a pretty common thing in physics where we intuitively grasp what happens but maybe just don't know how to express it or bring it to mind easily. So, Let's go over why this happens by talking about what's going on at the smallest levels. Okay, the first thing we need to understand is what temperature is. So temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy of particles. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, for our purposes, you can think of all the water molecules vibrating and moving about, bouncing off each other and whatnot. Some are moving faster and some are moving slower. Again, temperature just tells us about the average kinetic energy. So the higher the temperature, the faster the average particle will be moving. How fast these vibrations are determine what state the water will be in. So if they're slow, then the molecules will lock together into a crystalline structure and form a solid, you know, ice. But if they're moving really fast, they will bump into each other a ton and then spread out like a gas, you know, steam. One of the big points here is that for a molecule of water to evaporate, it needs to be moving fast enough that it can escape from being in liquid. It just needs enough energy individually to become a gas. It's just like if you need five dollars to buy a pizza. It doesn't matter if everyone else around you can't afford a pizza, you can get one because you have enough money to. You can throw your own pizza party and you don't even have to share, you know, if you're a jerk. So water is being boiled. The average water molecule now has the energy to become a gas, so the mixture becomes very bubbly and vitriolic. Water everywhere in the pot is evaporating all at once. So let's now think about water at room temperature. Even though the average water molecule doesn't have enough energy to enter a gaseous state, some will and then will leave the system as a gas. This is most successfully happening on the surface of the water where the, a gas molecule can freely leave instead of bumping into others and possibly losing energy due to this bumping. This is why we usually spread out spilled water or hang up towels or put clothes on clotheslines. Increasing the surface area will increase the rate water evaporates. We also sometimes use fans to cool ourselves off or put things outside where there's more moving air to speed up evaporation. This is because air starts becoming humid and becomes more and more difficult to put more air into the water. Just like it's difficult to fit more and more clowns into a single car. But there just isn't enough space after a while. Get in there Jerry! Get in the clown car! We need to hit our clown car quotas! Get in there Jerry! Having moving air replaces the humid air with less humid air letting water escape at a higher efficiency. This also means if you put water into a closed container, the air inside will just hit some max immunity and the air in the water will find an equilibrium. But if you then remove the cap, the air can now circulate and the water escape. But we may ask ourselves, wouldn't removing the highest energy molecules start decreasing the liquid water's temperature? Okay, well that's certainly true in a vacuum, and it's always certainly true that some heat will start leaving the liquid water because of this. But if water is in contact with other things, it will start to suck in heat from the surroundings to keep the temperature the same. That's the zeroth law of thermodynamics. Things are at equilibrium when their temperature is the same, and heat will move from higher temperatures to lower temperatures. You can see this effect for yourself. For if you pour water on a hot deck or a hot sidewalk, the ground will start becoming cooler after all the water evaporates. Or this is also just what happens when you sweat. The evaporating water takes off a lot of heat off your body. So this is the major point. At everyday temperatures, some water molecules will have enough energy to escape as a gas. So it's just a matter of time before all the water at some point has enough energy to leave and the whole pile has evaporated. Okay, that's all the time I have today for this one, folks. I wanna thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope you have a great day. Okay, thanks, bye.
If you're wondering what I did with all the water, I made tea. Okay, bye.